We are disc lock and we started out years ago making the disc lock washers which are uh, pre-assembled so you only hand handle one piece. Here's a pair of washers that's apart and you can see the inclined cams around one side and the seizing ridges on the other. Uh, the principle behind disc lock and why all of our parts work under severe stress and vibration is because the angle of the cam is steeper than the pitch of the thread on the bolt. So that's our disc lock washers and from that we moved into the disc lock nut. Now the disc lock nut is based on the same principle. You have the nut with the cams on the bottom. Here's one that's apart so you can see it a little bit better. There's a cam profile on the bottom of the nut and the top of the hex flange washer. You can hear the cams. You can hear that cam action. Again, the angle of this cam is steeper than the pitch of the thread. So when you lock that down and load it up, if it wants to vibrate loose, the only direction that nut can go in to loosen is in that direction. But it's impossible for it to go in that direction because it has to ride up the ramp of the washer. But if you put your wrench over both pieces, it comes right off. So it goes on and off like an ordinary nut, but in service under shock and vibration, it's impossible for these parts to vibrate loose. Okay, the disc lock bolts. This is for blind hole applications, okay, where you don't have a nut on the other end. And going into a tapped hole, a blind hole, you've again got the disc lock bolt with the cam profile under the head, and then this is a washer matched up to our hex flange washer. And again, it's always the threaded component that tries to back out under vibration, but with the disc lock, when that threaded part attempts to back out, it can't move because it would have to ride the ramp of the washer, which again is steeper than the pitch of the thread. <clears throat> and that's for blind hole applications. The heavy hex disc lock nut, and this is the uh, system that we're really showing off here at the show, the heavy hex disc lock nut, again based on the same principle, the cam lock principle, disc lock principle, when you use it with a tension control bolt, okay, and I've got one put together here to show you how, this is how we demonstrate it, I've got a heavy hex disc lock nut and a stack of washers that simulates a couple of pieces of steel being clamped together. And this tension control bolt is designed for this tip to break off when it's reached the proper tension, the proper clamp load. You install it with our disc lock shear wrench, which has an inner and an outer socket, an electric shear wrench, inner and outer socket, and you just place the entire bolt tip and nut into the into the sockets, the inner and outer socket. And that's how easy that is. And that just applied minimum 20,000 pounds of tension on this 5 8 bolt. And then you eject the spline like that. So this is our product line, the dislock washers, the dislock nuts, this heavy hex dislock nut, and the dislock bolt. And this is our wind power fastening system, which I just demonstrated for you. And what that gives you is a properly tensioned bolted joint, guaranteed just when you see that that tip is broken off the end of the bolt. And it's also now vibration proof because it incorporates our heavy hex dislock nut.